Hey, my family spends a lot of time in the car, a lot of time traveling. If you look at the very first video on my channel, you'll see that I'm talking about how often we eat in the car. Well, recently I had the opportunity to review a device that allows us to eat in the car, and I wanna show you a meal prep that I did to help our family be a little more flexible this week and eat when we're in the car. Hey, so one of the best things about the Sabat heat um, or other portable ovens is when you go to meal prep, you don't have to cook the ingredients. So instead of showing you a meal prep, I do have one on my YouTube channel that I will link below. I'm going to share with you this resource that I made if you find yourself meal prepping with the Sabat heat. So I added what we do when we pack these meals is we choose a protein, add a frozen vegetable, and a sauce. Sometimes we do a side, I threw these in here. Sometimes we do these just for um, the kids all by themselves. One of our favorite things to do with the portable food warmer is to cook mac and cheese um, for the week. I often do mac and cheese with vegetables in the sauce like um, pumpkin or butternut squash. And then I just double batch it and I put it in the Pyrex containers that fit in the portable oven. The ones that fit are the three cup and the six cup rectangles. So I have found that a six cup rectangle is plenty of mac and cheese for my kids if we're at the park. I also broke this down into some different kinds of meat because I find these kinds of, of um, cheat sheets often just say like chicken, beef, but um, when I'm at the grocery store, I like it to be just a little more specific. So chicken breast strips like fajita chicken, um, we like to do this with either like a balsamic vinaigrette and like a um, pasta or rice. Makes a really nice little meal. I will mention that the Sabat Heat cannot cook rice, pasta, or baked goods just because the temperature doesn't get high enough to do those things. But meat from raw works very well. We've done steak. And I did put fajita beef down here. You could also get those um, pepper and onion, frozen peppers and onions with some fajita beef. Add some taco seasoning on top. Really good. Another hack that I use a lot is breakfast sausage, pre-cooked breakfast sausage. We buy some of that and I like to do it with mashed sweet potato and butter. It's a really yummy meal that is super fast to make. So on the weekend, I would just cook my sweet potatoes and I buy the frozen packs of sausages. And so in the morning, I just grab some mashed potato and put some breakfast sausage in it. The thing about these is uh, you can use a lot of different containers in the portable oven and I'll link an article in the description where um, I describe some of that. But um, I don't have enough of those glass Pyrex, Pyrexes to prep for the whole week. So if I were you, I would just prep some of these um, components and put them together. So uh, this is a great way to meal prep using your Sabat heat. You can find this graphic and print it out on my website. I will link it here. I also wanted to share this article from my website, why you need a portable food warmer, the hot logic or the Sabat heat. Um, this links, this is my other meal prep video here on YouTube. It also gives you some ideas for food. We use ours when we're traveling. Taco meat is 100% our favorite thing to do in a portable food warmer because we have such a large family. So we cook a whole bunch of taco meat and then we just pack tortillas and sour cream and that makes everybody very happy. If you want more information about what I think about the hot logic versus the Sabat heat, you can jump into this post. It also links to a couple idea posts with some recipes. I want to share one other freebie you can grab over at my website. I also created this um, printable worksheet that you could use if you are going to plan a, a week of meals with your portable oven. So what I would do here is I would fill in my plans. Normally we use this when we're going to the playground a lot. And so if I knew that I was going to be a playground or a library story time, I would fill that in here, make sure I know what's for breakfast, and then plan to pack something for lunch. I've done grilled cheese or quesadillas, mac and cheese, a lot of great things you can do for kids. Again, there'll be a slew of links in the description to show you just some different ideas of things you can do with the Hot Logic or the Sabat Heat portable ovens. I think every mom should have them. All right, so this is the Sabat Heat. The box is a lot nicer and fancier than 
the box that my other food warmers have come in. Okay. All right. I like the handle. Oh, yeah, I like the handle. It's a lot bigger of a lunch box. So it looks like it has a cooling compartment. Okay, that's awesome. With a longer strap. Oh, and this would be perfect for like utensils. It's a lot bigger and beefier than the Hot Logic, you know. It is. It seems bigger than the Hot Logic for sure. Oh, yeah, I do yellow bezel. Yep. Oh, and then it has this. The car version. Let's see the inside of it. Once I forgot. Is this the same? Oh, this is nice. The heating element. Yep, a similar heating element. Looks like yep. There's a pass, a way to pass the plug through, just like this. And would it plug straight into the would it plug straight into yeah. the car? So we got the 12 volt version. Hot logic doesn't do that, you have to buy an inverter. No, you, you can buy the, the 12 volt version. Oh really? Okay, gotcha. Don't have it. So it's nice it has the little Velcro thing to keep the cord. But this yeah, this plugs right in here. Nice. Is there any indicator lights that it's so yep, the, the display turned on. It did let me see. When I plugged it in. Okay, cool. I wonder if this light is uh, no indicator on no that. No indicator okay. on here, but when I plugged it in, the display blinked on and then off. Hmm. Okay. All right. Here we go. Yep, so then it has a couple settings. Wow. 180.